MC and Bionic Chance being popped the question on the outside. Bionic Chance in front from MC and further back to Sepoy. But Bionic Chance is racing clear as they come down to the line. And Bionic Chance is going to win it by two to three lengths from MC. And the third placing will go to perhaps Bellum uh, on the outside, Sepoy. 500 metres left to go now and Speedy Chevelle back in control by a long neck from Flawless Fella. Right behind them is Stormy Fella as they come up to the turn, 400 metres to go. Pretty close to them too is Cat Arena. Mighty Vale starting to show up wider out and breaking stride, giving it away as Dreaming Scheme. And last of all of the bunch then as they turn for home is Bellum. Round the turn now and Speedy Chevelle in front being challenged by Flawless Fella. They're both hard at it, 200 to go. Out to challenge them, Stormy Fella and further out on the track then and coming home pretty well is breaking, uh, is, uh, breaking stride. But Speedy Chevelle has gone and Flawless Fella's got to the lead, 50 or 80 metres to go and breaking stride is storming home but too late. Flawless Fella got up to win it from breaking stride over on the outside. And Mighty Vale puts its head in front and coming back at it again. Spangled chance to be in front again on the turn. They were followed by Katarina. Over on the inside of Katarina, distinct fella as they come up towards the turn. Looking to get out to Smooth George and further out to Admiral Grace. Admiral Surrey. Speedy Chevelle is going to be coming down Lincoln Road when they turn for home. And round the bend they come. 220 metres to go. And the leader now. Out in front is Spangled Chance being tackled by distinct fella, the North Islander. Smooth George with the rails run. Katarina, Speedy Chevelle and further out to Admiral Dave. But down towards the post they go. And there's a good run coming from the North Islander. Distinct fella accelerates away from the field. Onto the lane now and leading the men as resemblance. The challenges are coming. The favourite Speedy Chevelle's locked up as Stormy Fellow went around the outside. Como Berenices is there down the outside as Sermo's reign. In behind them, Smooth Road United, Blue Chip angled out and Alma Gantry. At the 150 though, Stormy Fellow went to the lead. From resemblance, Serdon coming through on the inside. Speedy Chevelle and Smooth Rowan. But Stormy Fellow won at Serdon second, running third then as resemblance. But Blue Admiral came past the 200 and here's Race Ruler trying to bridge the gap under Pressy United. Blue Chip coming home to Stink Fella at the moment. Blue Admiral Race Ruler and in the behind them United. Blue Chip coming home well. Sermo's rain. But Blue Admiral's too good. Race Ruler's broken up. Going past the post. Then we've got United Blue Chip on the inside. Then to Sermo's rain. A start by Trident. Who's going to win the third? Very exciting, the Signa Insurance New Zealand right, Sire Stakes Come Final, on, over one Number mile. One, work on it. And will they break two minutes? We'll find out shortly as we join our commentator, Rich Clapp. As down the back they go. A bit of pace on with the mobile, moving down to the mile start. Here they go now, they're just about there. Racing this time. And the New Zealand Sire Stay Stakes final field their way to a good dispatch and going out past the favourite Bionic Chance. On the inside is Flawless Fella, then Distinct Fella, followed by Stormy Fella, wide out to Spangle Chance. Through on the inside is MC, they're followed then by Blue Admiral, further back to Keswick. On its inside is Serdon and Breaking Stride is at the rear of the field. But the favourite Bionic Chance wasting no time past the 1200 metres pole, about three lengths in front now. Of flawless fellas who's dropped in to get the perfect trail. They ran the first quarter in 28.4. Down they come, Bionic Chance, a length and a quarter. Flawless fella running third on the fence is Stormy Fella. Out facing the breeze, distinct fella on the fence is MC Tony Hurley. He's got Blue Admiral beautifully placed in the 1 1. A length away to Keswick down on the inside. Sir on, on the outside, breaking stride and spangled chances at the rear. On they go past the 900 metres pole and Bionic Chance, a length and a quarter. Flawless fellas getting a beautiful trail, running third on the outside is Distinct Fella. Three back on the inside is Stormy Fella, the 1-1 one, one is Blue Admiral down on the inside MC. They're followed then on the outside by Keswick on the inside to third on second lark is Breaking Stride and Spangled Chances at the rear. They took a minute for the Harpers down the back they go and 600 to go in the Sire Stakes final and Bionic Chance the leader. A length now on Flawless Fella, Stormy Fella's dropped in to get the trail. Then we've got Blue Admiral moving up and around the outside is Distinct Fella. Down on the inside of that lot to MC, they're followed by Serdon and Keswick giving ground. Breaking stride as well, back and so is Spangle Chance. Onto the lane comes the favourite Bionic Chance is going to line them up in the big one. On the outside is Flawless Fella, down on the inside is Stormy Fella. Further back then we've got Blue Admiral. Down the straight, 150 to go, Bionic Chance, and here's Stormy Fella, a big run down the other. 
Wider out to third on coming out well by any chance of Stormy Fella there the two coming out well to third on but it's by any chance on the outside Stormy Fella and third on got up to take third ahead of Blue Admiral then MC. They're followed in by breaking stride down on the inside we had Flawless Fella further back to Spangle Chance. They're followed on the inside then by Keswick and Distinct Fella came home at the rear of the field. There it is. Well, there you are. The class of the filly shows through. Number five, Bionic Chance. Very, very good effort indeed. You saw the blistering way she went to the lead, and it looks as though she'll hold on to uh, take it out and take out the big one. And a good finish too. Now let's have a look at them as they turn for home. And the filly, Bionic Chance, who took the lead from a wide draw, has held it all the way. Flawless fella on the outside of her, pressing hard at the moment. And look at Ellie Malcolmson on Stormy Fella in the trail. Wants to get out and will have to make his move shortly. Bionic Chance doing it well at the moment. You can see now Stormy Fella starting to move out. Flawless Fella struggling a little. Blue Admiral wider out again. And watch for the run of Surdon as soon as he gets clear. That's the stable mate. They get down with about 200 metres to run. Bionic Chance doing it well. Stormy Fella under a hard drive. Starting to make ground. Flawless Fella's had enough. The Purden Stable representatives now wide on the track, coming home very well indeed. Surdon right on the outside, starting to get into gear. Patrick O'Reilly worrying a little on Bionic Chance at this stage, but Stormy Fella can't do any better. And it's Surdon, number 12, right on the outside that puts in the last run at both of them, but doesn't look as though he's going to get up in time. They get down towards the winning post. Bionic Chance on the inside, Stormy Fella one out, and look at the finishing run of Sir Don right down the outside. He's made a wonderful effort, but it's not quite good enough. The filly gets down to the post, gets there just in time to hold out, I think, Stormy Fella. Sir Don would be third, and Blue Admiral, the stablemate, looks as though he'll take fourth money. No doubting her class. Very good performance. Six wins now from 11 starts by Majestic Chance out of Bionic Star owned by Mr. Alistair Kerslake, Mrs. Kerslake and uh, Mr. F. Woolley and a good performance indeed. As she returns to scale, we'll bring you official dividends in one moment. And the Signa Insurance New Zealand Sire Stake final and she did it in true style. The owners here with me at the moment are Mr. Alistair Kerslake and his wife Betty and Mr. Francis Woolley. Congratulations to you all. Alistair, you uh, this is a marvellous little filly and you must be very proud tonight. Very, very proud of her. What, uh, tell us a little bit about this breed. It's been an amazing breed for you. It just uh, produces nothing else but winners. Adio Star has been a marvellous uh, breed to us. The winners that she's left. She's left uh, four New Zealand Derby winners in Auckland Derby. And uh, Bionic Star, she won eight. And now she left Bionic Raider. And now Bionic um, Chance. So, you know. She's good. You can't do any more than that. You can't <laughs> indeed. Um, uh, Francis Woolley, uh, the uh, good result for you here tonight, obviously. Did you really think she could beat the Colts? Well, I had a good idea that she could, but uh, it's very hard for Philly to beat the Colts. But we know how good she is, and we're very, very pleased with how it turned out. Well, congratulations. Congratulations to you, Mrs. Woolley. You must be very pleased. Kerslake. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Kerslake, I'm sorry. Thanks very much. Indeed. Well, there we are. The presentation is about to start, so we won't hold it up any further. Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you. OK, dividends have now been posted for the race. John has them for us. Well, she was short, but uh, Little Fish is sweet. Number two, uh, number two, sorry, it should be number five, Bionic Chance. $2.25 and $1.30. We've got them reversed on our captions here. Bionic Chance actually paid $2.25 and $1.30. Number two, Stormy Fella was second, $1.85. Number 12, Sir Don was third at $7 even. The Quinella... Two and five paid six dollars sixty, and the trifecta five, two, and twelve paid two hundred and twenty-five dollars fifty-five. And those of you interested in times will be very interested to know that uh, in winning tonight, Bionic Chance has created a new record with a marvellous time of one fifty-eight point seven. Wonderful effort by a two-year-old filly, and in cold and dampish conditions, an outstanding performance.